Ugh. Another day. Another day has gone by and a new one has come, of me being grounded. I honestly have lost track of how long it has been. I have been stuck in my room for such a long time with nothing else to do. Despite the fact that I am able to go out to use the bathroom, eat dinner with my family, or go somewhere under severe supervision, but nothing else. This is really starting to get annoying and old, of me getting grounded and severally punished by my stupid parents all the time who just can't accept the fact I just want to have fun. It just really isn't fair. Well, I have just have had it. I can't just deal with it anymore. There has got to be some way to improve my life and prove to my family that I shouldn't be treated this way. But what? What can I do? I can't think of anything. I'm still stuck here. And I seriously doubt that my parents had any plans to do anything today. This is hopeless. Hey, Kalu. Come down here. We have something to tell you. Hey, what do you know? Maybe this is my lucky day after all. Hey, maybe they forgot time grounded and I'm finally off the hook now. Let's see. Hey mom. Hey dad. Good morning, Kalo. How are you today? Well, I'm doing good now. Now that I'm out of my room. Well, that's good to hear. Anyway, we called you down here to let you know of something we are doing today. Wow, really? Is it something fun? Why, yes it is, Kalu. We are going to see another San Francisco Giants baseball game, but this time- Oh my gosh, yes, 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 this is great. Today I can't wait for another baseball game. I have been waiting so long since the last one and now we get to have fun and eat lots of good food and have fun. Oh boy, this is- Hold it right there, bucko. I never said anything about you coming along, after what happened the last three times. Huh, what in the world are you talking about? Huh, <sighs> wow Kalu, like, seriously, do we really have to review this again? Roll flashback. The first time, you said you needed to use the restroom. However it turned out you were really going to run down the stands. Super jump over the wall and run across the field. Then proceeding to do the most ridiculous stance in the middle of the stadium in front of 40,000 people, who all laughed at you. We were kicked out, humiliated, and had to pay $1,000 due to your stupid actions. The next game we went to, you stuck your hands over the wall to interfere with the Giants outfielder to catch a fly ball when it was still beyond in play, thus getting us kicked out again. And finally, at our third game, somehow you stuffed the wooden bat in your so-called secret pocket which I still find hard to believe to this day. You snuck it into the ballpark, and once again interfered with the Giants outfielder by hitting the opposing team's fly ball out of the stadium, and the umpires ruled the play a home run, making the Giants lose in the final inning. We were all blamed for everything, and were nearly charged with a much larger fine, and almost were sentenced to citywide labor by that security guard. Did I leave anything out from all of that? Well, you left that one part out from last time when we almost got arrested. Ha 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 ha. Kalu. For the last freaking time. It's. Not. And do not mention that near miss we had with that police chase, it still gives me nightmares, you know better. And don't you try to forget that you are still grounded for that third game. You promised to behave, but you broke it and lost all your chances. Three strikes and you're out. Okay okay, I get it now. I'm sorry for all that, but I learned from them now. Can't you give me one final chance? One final chance to behave and have a great time with you guys. Absolutely not, we have given you all the chances you can have to behave, 
and you ruined all of them for us because you are such a misbehaved little brat. All you had to do was listen to us, but no. You just had to listen to your troublesome putrid little mind of antics to always get all of us in trouble, and you never seem to think you will get grounded for them every single time. So in order for you to not cause any trouble and for us to enjoy a game, you are staying right here at home. Yeah. We made it clear each time that you need to behave, but you don't seem to get it clear in the slightest. Since you are still grounded for last time, you will stay here and learn how to be good. Yeah, Kalu. No more baseball games for you. And to make absolutely sure you do behave well here at home while we are gone, we hired you a babysitter. What? A babysitter? Speaking of which, that must be her now. Uh, who is it? Don't tell me it's Julie again. Oh no, it's not Julie this time. I believe you are going to like her, since you should know her. Why hello Boris, and hello, Kalo. Hello, Miss Martin. Thank you so much for coming to watch Kalu. Oh, it's my pleasure. I'm glad to help you all out. Hello, Miss Martin. Thank you so much for coming to watch over Kayla while we go to the Giants baseball game. We really appreciate it. You're very welcome, Doris. You have nothing to worry about. I know Kalo, and we'll take good care of him. No, please, don't leave me with her. Take me with you. That's enough, Kalu. All right, Miss Martin, we better get going. Thank you once again. You're very welcome. I promise you he is in good hands. All right, Kalu, you be good for Miss Martin while we are gone. And, if you do anything bad... Yes, I know. I'll be grounded. All right, everybody. Now let's finally enjoy a baseball game on this nice day. And it should be exciting. It's the Giants taking on the Dodgers. Hoping to take the top position for the NL West. Yeah. This is going to be great. And nothing to ruin it this time. Yay, yay, yay. Rosie excited for baseball game. Hey Boris. Yes, honey? I just remembered something. Didn't that security guard guy ban us from the stadium last time? How are we going to get in safely? Oh, don't worry about that, Doris. I have a plan that will get us in safely without security remembering us. Um, okay. If you say so, Boris, I hope it turns out well. Well, back here again, stuck back in my room, but with my teacher staying home with me. While my parents go to a baseball game and have fun, because they can't trust me anymore, even with all those past games were me just trying to have fun and nothing else. Drat, my chance of redemption is ruined, what am I going to do? <coughs> what, Gilbert? What do you want? Can't you see I'm not in the mood? Wait. Gilbert, if I understand you correctly, are you suggesting that I leave the house, get to the baseball game myself, and disguise myself as a baseball player to help the Giants win the game? therefore making myself a hero in front of everyone. Well Gilbert, I don't know why I'm saying this, but that is the greatest idea I have ever heard in my entire life. Gosh, why didn't I think of that before? It's the most perfect idea to redeem myself not only in front of my family, but like thousands of people, and in a stadium. Amazing. Just thinking about it, the 
a baseball hero. Now gathering for the Giants, number one, Kaylee Anderson. step into the game at a crucial moment, and amaze the fans with my awesome skills to save the Giants from losing, it shall be my greatest and most redeeming moment of all time. After all, at the last game we were at, I had quite a bit of power hitting that ball back and out of the stadium unexpectedly, and I can use that power to help the Giants win, yes, and I will finally prove to my family that I shall never be grounded or have any stupid punishment days ever again. Ha 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 What's that? Oh, you're right Gilbert. Miss Martin is still here as my babysitter. And she might get suspicious if I'm gone. We'll have to deal with her first. I've got it. Gilbert, do you still have that yarn ball you had earlier? Great. It should work perfectly for this plan. Now let's go. Alright, you ready Gilbert? <coughs> then let's do this. Hey, Miss Martin. Oh, hello Kalo. What are you up to? Oh, well. It's just that, I have a special surprise for you. A surprise? What are you talking about? Just close your eyes, and keep them shut, and you will receive the best surprise of your life. Um, okay. My eyes are closed now. What are you going to do now? Kaylee, what the heck? This was a trick, you bald headed piece of crap. Get me out of this right now. Yes, it worked. It actually worked. Once again, my stupid teacher falls for another obvious trick. What an idiot. She'll be trapped in there forever. Now I can get out of here and get to the baseball game to cold off my most impressive and superior plan ever. <coughs> oh, how will I get there in time, you asked? Well,. I remember seeing a train station in San Francisco at our last three baseball games. So I will go to our local town's train station, sneak on the next train, and ride all the way to San Francisco to the game. Easy. And then I'll steal, or should I say borrow, a kid-sized baseball jersey and hat at the stadium's gift shop, and use that as my disguise for my plan to enter the game as a baseball player. And everything will go from there to my plan as the best baseball hero in the world. Well, better get some things and get going. Thank you, Gilbert. I'll see you later.
Okay, that should be everything. Let's do this. Finally, I'm here at the train station. Now to wait for the train. Well, it's already coming, just in time. Hello. Welcome to Oracle Park. That will be $20 for parking, please. All right. Here you go, my good man. Thank you. Enjoy the game. This is Agent 1219. I have a confirmation report. The Andersons are back and have just parked. However, something is a bit off this time. But just in case, I planted the device like the boss requested. Make sure he gets this. Man, that was a long train ride. At least nobody saw me without a ticket. But never mind all that. I'm finally here in San Francisco. Well then, time to get to the stadium. Oh, uh, what the... It's my family. They've just arrived. But why are they wearing those weird masks? Do they have the same idea as I do? Well, I don't really know. But nevertheless, I'll just have to sneak past them so they don't see me. Then it's off to the gift shop. Um, Boris. Are you sure this little cover-up is going to work? It seems pretty obvious to me. Of course, Doris. The internet said these masks will fool anyone as long as we just act as someone else. It said it worked every time. Well, all right. If you're so sure, let's give it a try then. All right. Baseball disguise, here I come. Thank you guys. Enjoy the game. Hey. Hold it right there. What's with the uncanny get up with you three? Yeah, and why do you look familiar? Haven't we seen you here before? Oh, um. Hello, officers. Don't mind us. We're agents here on business. But we must wear these masks to, you know, conceal our identities. Right, honey? Um, yeah. We're agents from, um, the president. We were specially invited. No need to show anything. Oh. Really? Yeah. yeah. Well, why didn't you say so? Come on in, friends. Yeah. Sorry about feeling suspicious. Please enjoy the game. And nice masks. We will. Thank you very much, officers. Oliver and 
Commander Fisk, boss. What is it? Who was that group of people who just passed through the gate? Did they look suspicious? Um, well, they have... Not really, they... There's nothing to worry about, sir. Just a couple of special government agents coming to the game for a special occasion. Oh, government agents, you say? Are you sure they didn't look like familiar people we've seen before? Like maybe a certain family? Not at all, boss. If that were the case, we would have apprehended them immediately and called you on the spot. After all, we're taking your lookout order seriously. Yes, and that family mentioned that they were invited somehow. Yet I can't really explain why that is, yet, but, still nothing else has happened since the call we received from the parking lot. Very well. But I want a full detailed report on every guest and staff member in this ballpark, including the group you just saw again, and report to me as soon as the game starts. Understand? Yes, sir. Good. I'll see you later. Fisk out. Um, boss, I got that early transceiver call as well. But that family still looks suspicious. Do you think they still could be the Andersons from before? Of course it was them. The only difference is that that they have those obvious fake masks on that do a horrible job covering them, and that K. Lou is not with them. I mean gosh, can't anyone who was there sense anything out of place? Did we not train hard enough? Look, don't you get it? It's a trick. With those masks and without K. Lu in sight, they're trying to outsmart us somehow for last time when I tried to arrest them. I may not know what they are planning, nor have any solid proof yet, but we're gonna find out and finally bring Fisk, them- Fisk, we got trouble- Hello. Come in. Agent Luke. Was that you? Come in, Agent Luke. Do you copy? Hello. You, come with me. Security squad, attention. All right, officers. It's a new game day at Oracle Park. However, today is the day we've been waiting for. We have suspicions of family case H are returning today with their troublesome child, and that they are pulling off something far more dangerously this time. So I want you all to monitor and scour the entire ballpark today for any misbehavior. And if anything sketchy happens, you know the drill, and make sure they never escape. On a side note, see if you can find Agent Luke. I fear something that just happened to him. Stay positive and natural, do your jobs, and be prepared. Move out. So it has come to this, hasn't it Andersons? Whatever you're up to, you're in for a big surprise because once we get you, you'll just see who you're really dealing with. Man, that was way too close. I was almost caught there, but that stupid security guard should just mind his own business next time. He was no match for me. At least I'd not the disguise and got out of there in time. No. I must get inside the ballpark, and onto the field, but I can't go in the gate because of all these people and security up front, what to do? I know, I think there was a secret entryway where special people can get onto the field instantly, I think it was in right field, I'll go there.
this. I made it in. Now I'm on the field. Again. This is awesome. It's been so long since the time I ran on the field. I feel like a baseball star already. And here I am, the Giants dugout. And what do we have here? This appears to be the Giants roster and lineup for today's game. Now I'll just add my name as a pinch hitter onto this list. Excellent. Now I'm listed in the game as a pinch hitter. This is gonna be great. Excuse me. But who are you? And why are you here? Well, I'm waiting. I asked, who are you? Uh, what do you mean? Who am I? I am one of your baseball players. Don't you recognize me? Well, I'm not so sure about that. Although you don't look like a baseball player on the team, you appear to be a lot short than the others. What? You got a problem with short people, old man? Ah. Uh, please don't hurt me. That's what I thought. Now if you would excuse me, I'm going to sit down and wait for the game to start. Very strange. Although he looks like he's on the team, I can't help but think he may be someone I've seen before. Someone from another time. Huh. Ugh. I must be losing my marbles again. I need to stop doing that. Whatever. Well, better go check on the rest of the team to make sure they are ready for today's game. Haha. Ha. Good. He fell for that easily. Now I will wait for the game to begin, and soon, it will be my time to shine. Wow Boris, this is great. You got us the best view of the ballpark. Better than the last three times. You can see everything from here. Of course I did. I got us all the best seats for us to finally enjoy the best baseball game. And now, we're finally here. We have our food, we have each other, and no signs of any concern. We're all set. Yeah. And that plan of yours to get us in worked pretty well. You're a genius there. That's right, and look at that. Here come the baseball players. All right, here we go. The game is finally starting. Let's enjoy. Huh? Still no answer. I wonder what is going on. Excuse me, Commander Fisk. I'm sorry to bother you but I just need to inform you that the game is now starting. It would probably be wise to head on over to the viewing platforms now for game inspections. I see. Thank you, Levi. But before that, did you get any updates with any guests? Well, other than normal activity so far, we tried looking again for that masked family from earlier, but they are nowhere to be found. There is also still no sign of Kalo. Well I still have my concerns of what they may be up to, and why they breached our security. Make some more measures to find them. Any sign of Agent Luke yet? Unfortunately not yet. However, Oliver detected a radio signal that was near the baseball gift shop. He sent some grunts just now to investigate it. Alright then, we'll see about that later then. But for now, let's go back under cover, and be prepared for anything. I believe we got some guests to reunite with soon. Yes, sir. Play ball, Andersons. Play ball.
You're on it. This is not good, the Giants had such a huge lead throughout this game, but the Dodgers just had a big rally and now they have taken the lead, now the Giants trail by one in the ninth inning with three outs remaining. Rosie is sad. Rosie don't want to see Giants lose again. Don't worry Rosie. The game is not over yet. The Giants still have a chance to win. Strike three. You're out. One down in the ninth. Well, this is clearly not a good situation. After all that to get in the lead, only to blow it later on and trail by one with two outs to go. What to do? We just got the time run on second base. A perfect opportunity. But with two outs to go and trailing by one, the stakes are getting high. We'll need to either tie or even win the game as soon as we can or we'll lose embarrassingly to our tough rivals. But all of my hitters are tired and used. Who can I put in as a pinch hit for the potential winning run at this time? I believe, I can fill that role, manager. Oh yes, you. I remember you from earlier. Let's see, your name was, Kalu Anderson. Right. And you're pinch hitting for our pitcher spot it looks like. Well then, Kalu, are you ready to give it your all and guide us to victory? Yes. I'm ready. I'm finally ready to save the day and help the team win. My moment has come. Well then, get out there and win this game for us. Everyone is counting on you. Huh. No matter how much I look past it, I still can't shake the feeling that I may know this person. Or at least seen him a few times in my life. Maybe in this ballpark? During some other games, maybe? Kalu Anderson. Wait a minute. No, it can't. It can't really be him. Could it?
it's happening the dream it's even more exciting than i thought what the who is this batter wait hold on which player is this he looks different from the others i don't know doris i've never seen him before small baseball player well you're right rosie but not only does he look like a small baseball player he looks like a kid wait looks like a kid boris is there something wrong um well it's just that hold on a second now pitch hitting for the giants um um a new player number 1 kelly anderson What? What in the? What the heck? It's Kalu. How the freaking freak stuff of all things did he get here? And what in all of all of humanity's choices does he think he is doing? Oh, my freaking god! You are right. It is Kalu. I am positive we left that little bread at home with Miss Martin to watch over him for a pleasant game. But now he does this, impersonating a baseball player. What is he thinking? Rosie is mad. Kalu has come to ruin the game again. This is definitely the last straw. Come on, guys. We are going to stop him and give him the ultimate punishment for disobeying us again. What up? Look at this dude. He looks like a kid. How in the world did the Giants pick up this guy? This is going to be so easy. Um, manager, are you sure this will work? I've never seen this player before. Although he does look familiar, but he doesn't look fit enough for this. Well, I have my doubts too, but he's the only option. I have to fill your pitcher's role at the moment. This at bat should tell us who this guy really is. I honestly don't feel good about this. Something about that player seems very off. Yeah, he seems too short to be a player. Yet he also looks very familiar for some reason. Now that you all mentioned it, you are right. I mean, although he looks like one of our players. He also looks like no he can't possibly better up Ha 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 This is it game on the line and I'm actually betting this is great I hope my family is watching Gosh darn it. He's hit that one by me. I won't miss this time. Strike two. No balls. Two strikes. I'm down on two strikes. One more and I'm out and my chance is ruined and the team will be on death's door. But I'm not giving up. This is my moment and I must fulfill my destiny. There he is. Let's get him. Today is a new day. You're that meat, little man. Ah. Uh. Well. Uh. What? Ball is in play. What are you waiting for, you idiot? Get him out. Oh no, I missed it. I got it. Ah. I got it. Here, get the guy trying to score. Got it. 
You're out. Two down. Now, let's get the other one. Oops. Get back here, you little creep. Oh no, you don't. Ash. You can't do that. Well, I just did ha ha ha. We'll see about that. What the heck is going on? Somebody get get him. The fun's over you little runt. Oh no. No Kalu, stop. Kalo, just stop this. You can make it. No. After all I've been through to get here, I'm not stopping. I will score a home run. Not this time. You're a toast little man. I gotta jump. It's my only chance to score. What the? There it is. Home plate. I'm gonna make it. I finally become the best baseball player. Gotcha. You're out. Game over. The Dodgers win the game 9 to 8. What? You have got to be joking. Are you serious? That player was a kid this whole time. I knew it. I had a feeling something was wrong with that player. But actually he's no player at all. He's just a kid. And he lost the game for us. What an idiot. Not even I would come up with something like that. How could he? How could he do such a thing? But more importantly, how did anyone not notice that was a kid in a baseball uniform? What is going on in this world? And he made the Giants lose to the Dodgers. Why that little punk is going to pay? Yeah. I hope he and whoever he was with gets arrested. To everyone. This is much more of an atrocity than just editing a VHS opening. I feel so redeemed now. That has got to be the worst crime in sports I have ever seen. That could totally ruin this game for everybody. I totally agree with you, honey. Of all the misbehavior I've seen, to disguise as a player and make a team lose has got to be the worst. He needs to be punished. Wait. Is that Caillou? It is. That little bald punk at it again. Oh ho ho. He is so busted this time, this will be so enjoyable to see. Hey, let's all throw our food at him. I knew it. I knew it was that little brat. That little brat who did those past three crimes in our ballpark and got away with it. And now, he has totally crossed the line. Guy who Anderson. The fourth time. Hasn't he learned anything? Not to mention his parents for watching him, or even bringing him? Now he has made a fool out of all of us. For pretending to be a professional and making everyone believe it. I can't believe he pulled that off. And now because of him, we lost an important game this year, and this will definitely impact our reputation. I hope he and his family pay the full price for everything every incident they have caused they shall not get away look man it's the kid again haven't we seen him before yes it's that kid who ran and danced on the field before and he did some other things later on he's that famous misbehaved kid everyone knows i guess we won yay now so it was true that person really was a kid Disguising himself as a baseball player and fooling all of us. And it's the kid from the last few times. No, this cannot be happening. This isn't the reaction I was hoping for. Boy, that just really sucks, doesn't it kiddo? Oh, um, hello, mom, dad, Rosie, nice to, uh, see you here. Did you enjoy my... Do you have any idea of what atrocity you have just caused? Look around you. You have just caused the worst baseball incident anyone has ever... So it's true. The kid and his family have returned. Four times. This kid just can't seem to fathom what he just destroys more than he thinks. And he just never learns. 
How sad. I've had enough of these people. They're all yours. Well, well, well. Well, what do you know? A little performance to undermine our security and ruin a baseball game for everyone once again. And you succeeded. Congratulations. Ah, no, sir, please. It wasn't like that at all. Yeah, right. Guards, apprehend them immediately. Bring them to me. Well, boys, any ideas? Sir, please come with us. Don't touch me. Ah. Wow. Yeah. Just leave us alone. Wow. Come on, guys. Let's get out of here. Oh, trying to run away again. Oh, don't make me laugh. Lock down all the exits. Stop right there, Anderson. No escaping this time. They're all yours, sir. Just as you expected. Good job, everybody. Fine work, indeed. Now then, let me be the first to say, welcome back, Andersons. It sure has been a while, but even so, you all still haven't changed. I guess your son's behavior with what we just saw answer that. What a shame. Officer. Please, it wasn't supposed to go this way. We weren't looking for any trouble, honest. Yeah. We left him with a babysitter back at home to watch him. We had no idea this would happen. Well, even if that were true, that still didn't keep him home, did it? Just look what happened. The world of baseball is now in a state of confusion and outrage because of him. And you? You were all with him on this plan to breach our security and pull off this little stunt. What? Don't be ridiculous. All we did was just walk in to enjoy a game. What are you talking about? Sorry, boys. But lying won't get you out of this one. Yeah, I know all about it. All about that little scheme you pulled off when you entered in to make sure we wouldn't recognize you. While you sent K. Lu to do his part, Agent Luke, if you would. Yes, sir. Well, thanks to your little dress up act, you sent most of us into a search frenzy. Not to mention the little superstar here had a bit of a clash with us earlier. Dress up act? Clash? What are you talking about? Ah, uh, don't give me this. What are you talking about, nonsense? Maybe something along the lines of... We're agents for the president. May ring some bells. And also what we caught your son doing altogether prior to the game that set this whole episode up. Take a look-see.
And that led to your plot to ruin yet another game. You were all part of it to make a fool out of everyone to change the entire outcome of the game. Just when I thought you all have learned and that this kid can do any worse from what I experienced at the last three games. No, 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 no. Those masks were such a ripoff. It wasn't supposed to go this way. And Kalu was there this whole time? No. How could this have happened? <sighs> well, anyway, thank you, kid, once again for your help. Not the best way to hide your own identity for this sort of plan, was it? Even after clocking me unconscious and disguising yourself, you didn't even conceal your own name during your performance in the game. Made our job a bit more easier to gather evidence against you and your family. Good job. Um, um, um. I rest my case. The rest is yours, boss. Thank you, Agent Luke. I'm heavily disappointed, Andersons. I gave you all the chances you can have, but you just choose not to take them lightly. And now, your time is up. For everything you have done. All the misbehavior Kalu has done over the years, and the million-year groundings and abusive punishment days you all commit that build all of you. It all ends now, today. Wait. Million-year groundings? Punishment days? How do you know about that? Who are you? And how do you know so much? Of course. How rude of me. My name is Terence Fisk. I work with the government. And we, along with a lot of people, know you. And everything you have done in your little grounding scenarios that lead to violence and chaos. What? No way. You're a government agent. And now, now that we finally got you, and to put this long-awaited case to rest, under the Research Agency of Detection and Emergency Service, I hereby place you under arrest. But sir, please. We just- No buts. Now then, here are your updated charges. Boris and Doris Anderson, you are under arrest for failure to discipline your misbehaved child for four baseball games being part of Kalu's plot to compromise security and the game itself, and illegally enter the ballpark while you were all banned from last time. Several accounts of child abuse over the years. Shoot, two we're totally in for it now, and it's all my fault. For Wait a minute. Rosie, we shall be arranged to stay with her grandparents for the time being. A court date will be set next week for all of this. And as for K. Lu, well, if he is so adamant about being a superstar and trying to be a good boy than before, he gets to stay with the rest of the other Goranimate and Vyond characters who have been causing trouble and getting punished in a very special place. And everything in this world will finally be better. Never. What? Come on, guys. Now's our chance. Let's get out of here. Hey, they're getting away. Don't let them escape. Two teams. Split up. Where are we going? They are after us. And all of the exits are sealed off. I know a way out. To the port walk. Oh, ah. No. Oh, oh no. Not, again. not good. Stop right there. I'm afraid the fun has already ended, as it should have long ago. Nice try, but you'll have to do better than that. Because now, you're surrounded. Surrender at once. This is bad. What are we going to do? Rosie don't like this. Me neither Rosie. But this may be it now. We have gone a bit too far with this now. 
jump. What? We have to jump over the railing and into the water. It's the only way. I... I guess we have no choice. Well guys, looks like we're gonna have to jump. Wait. What the? Wait. Stop. Wait. <laughs> ah. Did you see that boss? They just suddenly jumped into the bay when we- Well don't just stand there, you fool. Dispatch the speedboat squadron on the double. They can't stay in that freezing water for long. Commander Fisk, we've arrived on checkpoint. Further orders? Wait for them to resurface. Then capture them swiftly once they do. Stun them if you must. Yes sir. I don't see them. Well, keep looking. Not here either. Are you sure they jumped into the water? That's what was reported. Now keep searching. What's all the commotion? Is something going on with that family? They jumped in the water? What? How did they, how did they, how did they swim all the way across the... <coughs> Levi, Oliver, gather some road backup. This little game has turned to a whole new level. Uh, Mom, Dad, can I just say... Shut up! Just shut up Kalu, save it until we get home, we're going to discuss everything you have done, and you better be prepared what is coming right after that. This is Levi. Checking in. Oliver. Checking in. Gray Squad. Checking in. We're assembled. We await your orders, sir. Gray troops. Aim for the blue car and prepare to disable it. Levi and Oliver will take them into custody. On it, sir. Locking on target. Locked on and ready, sir. Wait. Hang on everyone. Oh my freaking god, keep staring, keep staring, fire shooting at a Shut fire. Shut up, doors, I'm trying. Just control. stay calm. So what are we gonna do? Shut up, Kalu. I'm trying to do something. Just sit down.
no getting away this time. Want this isn't good, this isn't good, he's pulling us back, what do we do, we're gonna die. I can't fight it, I can't go forward or stop, he's got full control of us. This is bad, we're going to get caught. What can I do? Wait a minute. This baseball would be useful one day, but it's now or never. My moment of truth, to save everyone, has come. Uh, what? what the? Kalu, what the heck are you doing? Oh, the helicopter. Oh no, Kalu, look out. What the f- <laughs> Kalu. Kalu, wake up. Good morning, Kalu. Are you all right? You are tossing and turning in your sleep. Uh, oh, Dad, I just had a horrible nightmare. I disguised myself as a baseball player while you all went to the game, and I messed it up really bad again, and it was awful. It's all right, Kalu. It was just a dream. You're safe here back at home. Oh, that's good. I really thought you were going to really ground me again. No, no, Kalu. You're wrong. You're my son. I love you. I would never ground you. Oh, good. Thank you, Dad. I knew you would never do that. Of course, Kalu. That's why we have something a lot better in mind. Just for you. Really? Something better? What would that be? Is this something exciting? Something... Oh, um, 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 um. Hello, everyone. Nice to see you all here. And you too, Miss Martin. Um, I'm glad you're out of the basement. Why do you all look so mad? Oh, it's nothing, Kalu. We just wanted to talk to you about the baseball game. About your little performance today you gave in front of everyone. It was... How you say, pretty outstanding. Something that I'd never forget. Yeah. I never knew you had it in you, Kalo. To be a baseball player. Rosie very surprised by what Kalo can do. Oh, wow. Really? Well, wow guys. I never thought you would all be impressed by everything I just- No, it was not impressive at all, you stupid incompetent misbehaved little abomination. What in the absolute heck is wrong with you obvious mistake of a human being on the cinematic and messed up first? Just when I thought 3 was just as horrible, that is now 4. For freak in baseball games you have just ruined for us and for every single freaking fan on this freaking planet instead of simply obeying us. <laughs> Boris Anderson, I cannot freaking believe you once again blew another baseball game for the fourth gosh darn freaking time by disguising yourself as a player and sneaking into the game and then making the Giants lose to the stupid gosh darn Dodgers by causing a game ending double play when they actually had a decent chance to tie it or even better win it in the ninth freaking inning. What in the absolute heck was going on in that putrid brain of yours? We specifically told you to stay here at home with Miss Martin while we went to the baseball game so you can actually learn
learn to behave for once, but now you just have to follow us and mess everything up again since you can't seem to learn a gosh darn thing in the world. And if that wasn't enough, you almost got all of us were arrested yet almost freaking killed by a whole security force led by an agent of the freaking government who put us on the most crazy highway freeway chase we have ever been in. And now our car was now lost and blown to bits from that helicopter crash you caused. Because of this we are all probably being put on the FBI's most wanted list by now. So we are pretty much screwed no matter what we do all because of you. All you had to do was behave in respect of the shit. But now you just decided not to. This is definitely the most idiotic and most messed up thing you have ever gained the audacity to ever commit against all of us and the rest of the world. That is so freaking it. You are so Freaking grounded, 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 grounded for ten quadrillion Google Plex eternities. And until your existence and memories from every single person from the world is completely gone, gone, G O N E, gone, gone from this world. Look, you guys. I'm really, 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 really sorry. All I just wanted was to prove to you guys that I shouldn't be grounded anymore. And I thought becoming a baseball star and trying to help the Giants win while you were at the game would impress you. Well, that didn't seem to work at all you half-witted scrub. You just made them lose. All the fans got mad, and threw all that food at you as the worst player ever. Now tell us, when we got home. The living room was a mess and we found Miss Martin locked in the basement tied up and blindfolded. Tell us how that happened and how you got to San Francisco all by yourself. Okay, I tied up Miss Martin with Gilbert's yarn string and blindfolded her, and then locked her in the basement. Then I ran out and snuck aboard a train from our town to San Francisco without anyone noticing, and we all just managed to arrive around the same time. Then everything else happened. Oh my. I am so sorry Miss Martin. I never knew Kayla would do that to you. I hope you were okay in there. Well, despite being trapped and lying down on a cold floor for almost six hours. I'm alright, and glad to be out of there. Well never mind that. Because now we need to get to some serious business with Kalu. But, um, first a really important question, Kalu. What did you do to your regular clothes? Um. Why does that matter? Just freaking tell us, Kalu. Okay, 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 I threw them away in a nearby dumpster so the security guard who caught me in the store couldn't find them. There. Happy now. Well, I guess that explains it. But how foolish of you to throw away useful clothes away in the trash. Well, never mind that. As I was saying, for not obeying us, Kalu, and all that has happened today. It. Is. Now. Punishment day. No. Not punishment day. Anything but that. Too freaking bad. You have gone way too far. Now let's get on with the punishments. But dad, I saved you all. I don't care about that. That made our car explode but most importantly you ruined our fourth baseball game. Now let's get on with the punishments. We set them all up while we carried you home unconscious. First punishment, eating old food right out of the trash. Ugh. Please guys. It already smells horrible. I don't want to eat all of this. Eat it right now or I'll replace it with something worse. I feel like I'm going to... Second punishment. Blasting extremely loud music in your ears. Punishment 3. Drinking an entire bottle of Mad Dog 357 in hot sauce. Oh no 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 no. Fourth 
punishment, taking a really 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 hot shower. No, please, I don't want to, Dad. You know what? Fine. You don't have to. But I'll have you know is that your next punishment instead will be you having to announce that you hate Chuck E. Cheese's on social media and then demolishing your favorite one that you oh so love going to. Oh no 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 Oh my god this is so scalding hot Oh, was that too hot? Well, for this next punishment, you will cool off in something that will be a lot colder than when we had to swim underwater in the bay. And that is, I nominate you for the ice pool challenge, as you will jump off the roof, into a pool filled with freezing cold water combined with hard ice cubes. No 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 no. Please dad, I don't want to do it. I refuse. Jump. Now. Or else I will just push you off the roof. One lot of it's so cold, 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 I'm gonna catch hypothermia. It's so cold, 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 it's so cold. Finally, for this last punishment, you will be sent to your room. And you will stay in there. You will stay in there with limited supplies without any source of entertainment as we have already taken your laptop and games. You will only eat prunes, raw eggs, spinach, and Brussels sprouts. And you will drink only water. You will be given a port o potty to use the bathroom, your window will be sealed shut and you will never come out until your grounded time is over, or when we just freaking feel like it. Which will probably be, never. Good. Bye. I'm so sorry Miss Martin for everything. We had no idea Kalu would cause all of this disaster. What was supposed to be a fun day for us and an easy job for you was ruined. And an unprecedented grounding took place once again. Don't worry about it, I'm okay, we all are. Now that I've seen what that little brat is capable of, I'm glad he's being contained for now, and facing everything for what he did. I don't think you'll be seeing him again for a while now would I? No, I'm afraid not. He's gonna be in there for quite a while. Well, alright then. I've seen enough from today. So, I better get going. I hope things get better for you. Alright, goodbye Miss Martin, take care. Disaster, isn't it? Indeed. But what exactly happened? The boss isn't picking up our calls, and there is a huge fire blaze up ahead. Let's check it out. Oh no, that's... that. That's one of our helicopters. So that was the huge explosion we heard earlier. Wait. You, you don't think he was stuck in there. Do you? Levi, look, over there. Wait. Hold on a moment. Can I help you officers? My apologies ma'am, but that man is our top employer. 
We just want to make sure he is all right. He suffered major injuries from a helicopter accident. He has many severe burns and guts, and some broken bones that are yet to be examined. But we need to go immediately to the hospital for treatment. Oh dear. But please, can you spare a few moments? We need to inquire him about few things. We are involved in this case that the government is looking into. It will be very quick. Well, all right. But please be fast. We need to leave. Oh, Levi, Oliver, is that you? Yes, boss, it's us. Are you all right? How did you survive the crash? That explosion from the distance looked like a nuclear attack. Let's just say luck was on my side today. I was able to fall out at the last second before the helicopter crashed. But it just shows how I underestimated K. Lu's <coughs> potential with his use of things, I guess. Well, one thing is for sure, that kid is just showing he is a danger to society, and needs to be dealt with, but please, forgive us sir. We failed to capture the Andersons again, and it caused us a lot of damage, and injury. And the tracking device turned offline. We have no idea where the Andersons ran off to. Forget that. That device was to make sure they couldn't escape easily. Besides, I already know where they are. One of our agents leaked their confirmed location earlier today. Wait, you mean, we already had them? How is that possible? What's going on boss? Look, I don't have time to explain. Just meet me back at the hospital. <coughs> Everything will be explained there. Things are going according to plan.
all of that led to this despicable enter. Desk. <coughs> Coffee loss. Sounds pretty urgent. Give it here. But please get back to your treatment so you can heal, Luke. Hello. Bob, it's you. I've been trying to call you for a while. Yes. I'm at the hospital, a lot of us are because of, well you know, what happened to you. What? You were, you were stuck in. You were, you were there, why didn't you tell me? Oh, I see, that's why, and yes, I got your message. But we're in a holding pattern right now before we make our move. You think you can take this one? Of course. And relax. As expected, they underestimated our intelligence. We'll have them in custody along with the others when they least expect it. Despite the capture failure, we still won. All the evidence we have gathered will do the talking against Kalo and his abusive family. I'd call that a better success than today's game, wouldn't you say, Fisk? Indeed. Hey, good. Victory awaits. Agent Martin, 